Hello, I thought it might be instructive um, for you to see how it is that I do a knit test um, on a machine. Um, as you may be able to hear, we might be doing this to the accompaniment of my children playing computer games in the background, but nevertheless. Um, here we have a Toyota KS787, um, which I'm now going to test for the first time on as a complete knit test. So, here's how I do it. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to move all 200 needles Forward, and we're going to run the whole carriage across the whole thing a couple of times just to make sure that it's all working. And it appears to be. Right, the next thing I need to do is I need to check to see if the patterning device is working properly. So that's either with the punch card or with the um, push button, depending on what your machine has. This machine has both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start by getting it to select half of the needles, and then I should be able to see which needles work and which needles don't. Interesting. I can hit none of them. What have I done wrong? Um, no. Sorry. It has selected precisely half of them. Um, now I'm going to just check to see if it can select the other half. So put that one across and it should select the other half. Excellent. Right. This has selected the other half with no apparent problems. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cast on. Now, uh, normally you would do this specially, but of course I've now done this. I can cast on. Absolutely fine. So you bring half forward half the needles, and um, I'm going to set the carriage up such that it only knits the needle to the forward. So it should just hang the yarn on half of the needles. So let's see how well it's going to manage this. Okay. So let's have a look and see. Um, we are going to, I'm going to leave it on plain collecting stuff and I'm just going to put in some yarn and we shall see how well it manages to hang on all 200 of the needles. Okay, in the yarn goes and let's see how we get on. Huh, pretty well is the answer. Excellent. Right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the cast on comb and I'm going to knit a few rows um, of just plain stocking stitch across the entire bed. Um, and we're going to see if we've got any dodgy needles that don't want to work. We're going to see if we've got any needles that are out of place or need replacing. Okay, so I'll just hang the cast on comb across the entire bed, like so. Okay, right then. Now, I'm also going to hang some weights on, just to see if we can't persuade it to knit off nicely. Okay, so let's go for plain, see what happens. Okay. Right. Well, we appear to have done some missing. Now, I'm just going to knit a few rows of this, and already I can see that we've dropped a stitch here. Now, I don't know if that is because we've got a dodgy needle, or because um, I just didn't cast on properly. So what I'm going to do for the minute is I'm going to rehang the stitches okay, and I'm going to see what happens to see if it manages to pick up and carry on or whether to see if I've got a couple of needles that I've got to replace. It's not a disaster, I've got to replace them. But again, you know, if I can avoid replacing them and not use resources, then that will be a good thing. Let's have a look. Still a bit of this in all right. And going this way. Okay, so we are knitting across all of the needles, which is good news. Now, I'm actually not going to carry on knitting across all the needles because it uses up yarn super fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, because I'm a skinflint, um, I'm going to take this yarn out. I'm actually going to knit this whole stuff off. Like so. Okay, and I'm 
I'm going to pull all the yarn out again and rewind it back on the cone. And I shall see you in a minute when I have done that. Okay. Right, having stripped off the yarn, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to see if um, the motif knitting bits will work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is once again, I'm going to select every alternate needle just to give us a pattern to look at. Okay, and I shall once again um, select the pattern like so. There we go. Right. Okay. Now what the motif button does um, is it should do it only over some of it. So if I switch it to one, you should be able to see that I've got just this section selected. Okay, let's go to two and see what how it goes. Lovely. That's the second lot selected. Three. Lovely. Four. And then finally, five. Excellent. So now we know that the basic stocking stitch works. It is selecting needles across the whole lot and um, the motif uh, bit works. So um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pause. I'm going to reset up so you can see just the centre of the machine. Um, and then we'll have a look at um, testing the actual patterning device. Right then. OK, our next job is going to be to um, cast on and... Uh, to knit a few rows of stocking stitch so we can then test the patterning thing. You can see I've just got 40 needles across um, the front selected. So I shall just select them into um, up, down, up, down position. No, I won't. Okay, right. Um, now then. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing to cast on. Okay. And again. This should be, I hope, reasonably straightforward. Um, uh, let's have a look and see. Oh, look, it did it beautifully. And this time I can use just the shorter part of the cast on comb, um, which I'm going to use backwards um, so I can wind the end on properly. So I'm going to wind on the yarn there. Okay, right, the next thing is um, that I am going to put everything onto plane and then knit another row and see what happens. Well, it appears to be missing. This is all good. Now that it's hanging the weight time, I'll hang one on the edge there and I shall hang another weight on the edge there. And now let's just knit a few rows and check that we are all right. Good. Right. Next thing to check. Let's see if I can bring this down here. Let's see what happens. Okay. So next thing to check. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? It's slightly better. Um, is the uh, tension dial. So I'm going to turn the tension all the way down and see what happens. Then I'm going to turn the tension down all the way up to 10. See what happens. I should get some much looser tension. That seems to be good, doesn't it? Look, got loose tension, got tight tension. Yarn's a bit horrible, but that's because I'm knitting what I've already wound. Okay, now I'm going to go back to five and just tension five and just knit a few rows. Okay, and we are ready to try some patterning. Now the first pattern I'm going to try is I'm going to try just a simple tuck stitch pattern. Um, so what I will do, okay, is I will go two down, two off, two down, two off, two down, two off, like that. Okay, um, and I'm going to select first. So let's just check that my 
and my thing is actually in selection mode. Yes, it is. So with a bit of luck, this should. Hold on. Oh, what have I done? Ah, I'm gonna put it on package. Right. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna try some touch stitch. So uh, that's going to be done with the zigzag lever. I'm gonna tuck two on each of these needles and then, or two of the behind ones, and then change it, and then tuck two, and then change it, and then tuck two, and then change it, and we will see if this works. Okay, so two rows tucked. Then the zigzag lever changed. And then two rows tucked. Then the zigzag lever changed. And so on. Now, what's important here is not whether the pattern is any good. Um, oh, it's a fairly traditional pattern. What's important is that the pattern is consistent. So let's have a look. And it is pretty consistent across the whole thing. There are no needles that are failing to tuck. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Now let's go back to plain and see what happens. Lovely. Now, um, next thing to test is the punch card and I'm going to test the punch card at the same time as I'm going to test um, the multicolored function. So I'll use this punch card, which should knit some pretty horrible stars all over it. Some shurikens or something. Who knows? Um, okay, so put the punch card in. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it, and I'm going to start by taking off these buttons, otherwise, we're going to get some pretty odd effects. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to see if I can't um, knit across um, and set up a pattern. There we go. Right. So that's my first pattern row sorted. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a secondary colour yarn. Um, I'm going to see if that will work. And um, I'm going to put it from plain to colour, okay, and we're going to see if I can get it to pick up, okay, so let's have a look and see. Okay, well, we've certainly picked up, so now let's see if I can knit myself a bit of a pattern. Certainly seems to be doing it. Very, very good tempered about it. Okay, right. Now then, uh, last thing to do is to take the um, take the knitting off and to see if it um, has indeed uh, patterned itself nicely, um, or whether it's dropped some stitches in the pattern or whatever. So I'm going to take this out, and if this works, then we're going to count this part of the knit test a roaring success. Okay, let's have a look and see. Okay. Right then, let's have a look. Here's the big moment. And will you look at that? It's just done the shurikens absolutely beautifully. So that is the knit test complete. Now, as I say, being a cheapskate, I'm going to unwind all of this yarn and wind it back onto the cones. Um, but thank you very much, and I shall see you later.